Yeah, I really think it has to do with tennis and being raised by intensely competitive people and raised to be con intensely competitive people. And, you know, in the case of Joy and Stan, those professional careers didn't happen. In the case of the kids, those you know, professional careers didn't happen. And when that level of competition is in the blood, how does that distort our ability to bond, to trust, to love? Like, how, do, how does everything become a competition or not, a win-lose situation or not? Like, each one of those kids, I think there is the veneer in this family of this, like, perfect family because no one wants to be perceived as anything other than a winner. I think there's that level. I also think maybe it's quite natural. You're being raised by your um, successful coach father, um, and love is something to be won. Love is something to be won. And I think all this feeds into why they have their secrets and why they could never share their secrets. They could never be weak. That's a good question. I empathize with each of their wounds. I think each one has a specific yearning, want, hurt, secret that um, when I was reading the book or in evolving their stories, you know, uh, as a writer into these scripts, um, I felt uh, connected to their, their particular yearnings or, or wounds. And I, I, I feel that um, those things make those characters human and I hope they make them really relatable because that was where like my in, in a sense, to them. It's, yeah, the book, gosh, it's gonna be funny because I'm not quite sure what is me and what is the book anymore. Like if I think the book, oh, such a mind melt. The book goes back and forth more quickly between characters, much more quickly. I think Joy has more real estate, but the characters, the book might toggle way quicker. Um, for me, I love a good ensemble drama. The problem is with ensemble drama, if you try and be completely democratic, give everybody equal time, you get nothing accomplished story-wise. So what I wanted to do early on was say, okay, we have seven episodes for a reason. We have episode one is the Delaney's, then Amy, no, sorry, then Logan, then Amy, Brooke, Troy, and so on. So each character sort of gets um, front burnered in an episode. So that was a way to say, okay, we're gonna front burner that person's emotional story, reveal their secrets, show, show what made them what and who they are, while also making that internal journey absolutely integral to the mystery. So, you know, that that is sort of the trick of the ensemble drama. Like, how do you get to know these people individually while always moving your story forward? <laughs>